What's up everybody, Justin here from Virtual Computers, coming to you talking to you about this really awesome new feature called Universal Clipboard. Now, you're probably accustomed to using copy and paste on your Mac, but did you know that you can copy and paste not only on your Mac, but between your Mac and another Mac, or an iPhone and an iPad? It's so deeply integrated within Mac OS and iOS and iPad OS that you can probably miss it. You won't find a switch or a button for Universal Clipboard, nor is it in system preferences or settings. So here's what you have to do. To use Universal Clipboard, all you have to do is copy some content text, an image, a video on one device, switch to the other device and paste it right into the app that can accept copied content. It's a great way of moving data from one device to another, especially when you're going from Mac to Mac, you can copy and paste entire files that way through your finder. To make this work, you have to make sure you have the right settings enabled on all of your devices. If you miss even one, Universal Clipboard just won't work. So here are the necessary supporting conditions. One, every device you're talking about, every device you're using must be signed into the same Apple ID in your iCloud settings. So go to System Preferences Apple ID on your Mac or Settings in your name on your iPhone and iPad. Make sure you're the same Apple ID. Each device must have Bluetooth turned on. So make sure your Bluetooth is on in your System Preferences on your Mac or on the iPhone and iPad Settings under Bluetooth or pull down for the Control Center. Each device must have Wi-Fi turned on and connected to the same Wi-Fi network. It's super unlikely that that wouldn't be the case, but just verify, make sure that everything's on the same Wi-Fi and handoff. Each device must have handoff enabled. So on your Mac, Apple menu system preferences general, and you'll see it on the bottom, enable handoff. And on your iPhone or iPad, under settings, general, airplay and handoff. There's almost no reason to disable handoff, so make sure it's on. Also, all your devices must be relatively recent, so let's say the last seven to 10 years, running at least Mac OS 10, 12, which is already pretty old, and iOS 10. In other words, don't expect Universal Clipboard to work on some like first generation iPad. If those settings are correct, but Universal Clipboard still isn't working, just restart all your devices. Make sure that they are are connected to Wi-Fi and they actually have internet connectivity. Sometimes you can be connected to Wi-Fi without actual internet. Most of the time, Universal Clipboard just works. It normally transfers data between devices almost instantly. Although if you copy something that's particularly large, like a video, one device to another, you might see a progress dialog while it finishes moving the data or you'll see like a you know, time remaining. Remember that Universal Clipboard simply populates each device's clipboard just as it had if you copied from that device. As soon as you copy something else on any device, it immediately replaces whatever came into Universal Clipboard. So if you copy something on one device and then you copy something on the other device, Universal Clipboard will have whatever's on that second device. Plus, if you copy something but you don't post it to the other device, pretty instantly, the devices may revert back to its own clipboard contents after about two minutes. Universal Clipboard makes life a lot easier when you're switching data from a Mac to a Mac or a Mac to an iPhone or iPad or even from an iPad to a Mac. You can go any which way you want, it's amazing. And it really makes it easy to be able to just fluidly be able to continue working from one device to another. What will Apple think of next?